all four Toledo and Bowling Green basketball teams hosting games this afternoon. First to Savage Arena we go, where the men are hosting Western Michigan. New varsity team member Bruce Gregkowski, little dancing during the middle of the game. Second half we go, Curtis Dennis off the mark from three, but Ryan Pearson there, he had eight boards in the game and 15 points. UT builds a double-digit lead, but the Broncos mount a comeback going on 11-1 to one run. They trailed by only one with under three left. Back come the Rockets. Juice Brown taking it in, getting the tough fadeaway to go. Rockets go up three. Now under two left, UT crashing the boards. Brown going to be off the mark. Matt Smith, he gets it. No good for him. Pearson flies in. He's off. And finally, Reese Holiday gets the loose ball, puts it in. And Rockets, they pull it out and they win. They're fourth in a row, 83-74. to 74. Our players stepped up and uh, really answered the bell. I thought for 40 minutes, uh, we played hard. We played smart. We played very good basketball. We executed. And then a total team effort. You know, Matt Smith, 15. Buck, 16. RP had 14. Jews, 14. And then Curtis, you know, stepped up and had a big second half again for us. So a great win. Down south we go. Falcons looking to upset Kent State. Midway through the first, Torian Oglesby off the missed free throw. Gets a put back to go. BG up one. Then it's Javon Clark. Nice dish over to D. Brown. He gets a reverse layup to go. Falcons up four towards the end of the half. Scott Thomas coming around the screen, burying the jumper. He had 21 in the game, but the highlight of the game comes right here. Jordan Crawford with the ball. Alley, Craig Seeley, ooh, throwing it down. BG wins big by 16, 74 to 58 the final. It's been a phenomenal first season at the Stroh Center for the Lady Falcons. A win today would make them 14 and one at their new digs, tying a school record. See if they can do it. Hosting Miami, the Falcon Fanatics showing love for senior Jessica Slagle on senior day. BG going inside to Daniel Havel, spinning, scoring. She had 11. A little bit of local flavor here. Anthony Waynes, Allison Pappenfuss, and one for her. She had five in the game. Falcons up double digits. Late in the game, Red Hawks pressing. BG breaking that press. Slagle to Jess Jasmine Matthews to Chrissy Steffen, and one. BG wins 64 55. They claim the outright MAC East title. If you told this team in October we had to play one game for first place, um, we would have chips in. We would have taken it and let's go for it. I'm really, really proud throughout the year that they put themselves in this position to go get the number one seed. If you go back to post game um, when we played Purdue here, um, I remember saying like we just hadn't found our identity yet. And uh, it feels so good to know that our hard work paid off. Back and forth we go from the Stroh back to Savage Arena. UT hosting Northern Illinois. The Lady Rockets trailing by five in the first. And a LaDorch creating her own shot. Long two-pointer. That is good. After a Husky bucket, Haley Lynn squaring up. She hits from long range, and Lynn was not done. Moments later, Yolanda Richardson with the ball in post, finding Lynn wide open in the corner. She had 14 in the game, and the Rockets win 49-39. to 